Andy, uh, we, we talked a little bit about, and, and I gave my uh, two cents, and, and Paul gave his two cents about uh, Dingman's Collision Center. Give us a little history of, of Dingman's. So the history would start all the way back with my, my grandfather, actually. My uh, grandfather started in- What was the, his name? Francis. Francis, okay. Francis. So he, is that your middle name? It, uh, it is not. Okay. It is not. But uh, uh, my dad grew up in, in the industry with, with his shop and, and then ventured out on, on his own and whatnot. And obviously, uh, being the firstborn, I was, I was at the shop all the time when I was uh, growing up as well. So we started kind of, it's in, in, in our bloodlines as far as that goes. And uh, we moved to, to Omaha and started here. And uh, what year? Uh, moved in '95, opened in '96. I was actually in the building on Saddle Creek, but near Center Street, when you, when your dad um, was fixing to open that, and, that, and that's that's where I met him was in that shop. We didn't do business together until years later. We we, we bonded, uh, which is a whole another story for a beer. But um, it was it was kind of fun, and and that's a very unique building that has a natural spring in it, right? Yeah, the Saddle Creek building is uh, it's got a natural spring uh, underneath there, still flowing today. Very very cool uh, feature of 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 the building and, and that, that totally area. unnecessary. Um, actually, a funny story is we had a, had a had an old boy walk in. It's probably been 15, 18 years ago at this point, but uh, he he just stopped in to to ask if the spring was still there. Because he actually had a bread route back, you know, right. uh, when they had bread routes. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if they had those when, when you were growing up or not. Oh, but, totally. Bread and milk. But, we used to have a milk, milk box at our so front porch. So he used to stop and water his horses there at that, that spring every morning is, is what the deal was. So pretty pretty neat. That, that's, that's, a per, that's pretty good uh, Omaha trivia right there. And um, The cars are getting more sophisticated and what what has changed say just in the last five years that that dingman uh, capitalizes on obviously the technology and you see everybody's got these advanced driver assist systems coming out where that may have been unique five years ago it's fairly standard at this point for everything that's coming out so you've got uh you know radars that are adaptive to cruise control you've got all the camera systems things to to that are allegedly supposed to help you uh you know not get into a collision that doesn't seem to necessarily be working uh here recently but uh um i think covid maybe had something to do with that so is was that what the natural progression over the last few years of getting into the mechanical side of the business in addition to the body shop well, the mechanical side we've always had a, a high interest in exploring um, just because we've, you know, we're, we're, it's kind of a natural progression that we deal with mechanical issues all the time as well as the, the collision side. So um, Todd Thompson is, uh, he runs the, the mechanical division there and uh, I've known him for over 20 years, worked with him originally at uh, when, when we had Saddle Creek just going and uh, he was at another mechanical facility, but we, uh, got to know him very well when he was managing that. And as we got closer to uh, having the opportunity to do this mechanical side, uh, he was he was always that number one guy for, for the job. So check out Todd Thompson if you're looking for mechanical work over on 120th and West Maple Road. Um, I, I think that uh, people always get nervous when they get in a car accident and things like that. and and. Dingman's Collision Center um, makes makes it easy, and, and and you've got four locations now. You'll probably have have more in the future, but it's a competitive business, and you guys seem to stand out. And uh, what do you attribute that to? I attribute it a hundred percent to the people that we we have that all have that same philosophy and you know our our culture because it's not just repairing vehicles. Because as you say, it's it's somewhat semi-traumatic in a lot of cases when you when you do have a collision so we're not just fixing vehicles a lot of times we're fixing people you know yeah. they've they've got a problem and you have psychologists uh, at every at every office it's extremely stressful uh sometimes so we try to you know un, unload some of that burden on on ourselves as uh you know the the professionals that can take care of all those things and treat each one as our own and and that certainly seems to help. So how far, how close are we in your estimate to autonomous vehicles where it's, it's, it's kind of like an Uber where 
people have like a ride sharing service or whatever, but they're they're just a passenger and they get dropped off their location. And that car goes and picks up the next group. I think you would have to ask a politician that question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think I could speculate on when that actually uh, when the technology is available. Yeah, very very real, very quick uh, reality. I, I I don't know. Excellent. Well, we appreciate everybody at Dingman's Collision Center, and thank you for your sponsorship and your friendship and your business. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.